So action-packed trailers are fun to watch because they deliver a high intensity visual simulation experience in a short amount of time. So I just want to talk about my top five favorite action-packed video game trailers with quick cuts and dynamic scenes from different aspects of fast-paced editing, the adrenaline, the sound design, the spectacle they have, and the emotional impact are some of the reasons I absolutely love these high energy, high action impact video game trailers. So I just want to go through my top five favorite trailers. By no means were these my favorite games of all time, but by far these were the top action packed video game trailers that I really enjoy watching. So with these trailers and being in no particular order, I wanted to start with this first one, Gears of War 4. So Gears 4 is a highly praised for several regions making a stand out as emotional and impactful piece of video game marketing. So first off, the emotional depth. The trailer focuses on more than just action. It creates a strong emotional pull. The use of the sound of silence that covered by Disturb, they you know, Disturb covered it. By using that song, it enhances you know, the haunting tone in which contrasts against brutal violence and just the, the overall brutality of the world. The choice of music taps into the feeling of loss, fear, and nostalgia, resonating with longtime fans of the series, including myself. The cinematic presentation, the trailer is visually stunning with smooth cinematography, powerful imagery. The transition between past and present, including flashbacks to the protagonist, JD Phoenix, this time not Marcus. So in JD's, it shows some of JD Phoenix's, shows JD's childhood, a blend of beauty and destruction. The effectiveness sets up the game's narrative themes and legacy, family, and struggle for survival. Character development. So with JD being there, Marcus's son is introduced, which immediately links the new storyline to the iconic old Gears of War franchise. So I was drawn in by the generational continuity. The trailer builds a connection to the characters, giving a personal stake to their journey. All right, calm and chaos. The calm, somber tone of the song contrasts sharply with the chaotic, explosive visuals of battle, creating a unique atmosphere. This elevates the intensity of the action, making it more dynamic and important. This trailer doesn't just show violence for spectacle, it shows consequences and weight behind it. All right, next we got nostalgia. For a long time, fans of Gears of War franchise, the trailer invokes a sense of nostalgia. My whole channel is, up, is just nostalgia, right? That's pretty much what I'm doing, playing old games and enjoying them now as an adult. The appearance of Marcus Phoenix in a familiar Gears imagery stirs emotion and excitement that lies ahead while maintaining the franchise's core theme. By pacing and build up, the pacing of the trailer is slowly building tension and suspense. It doesn't rush into action consequences. Instead, it gradually pulls us in, making the final moments feel more impactful. The slow build up captures the attention of both the newcomers and seasoned players. Overall, the Gears of War 4 trailer excels by combining cinematic visuals, emotional storytelling, and powerful music to create a lasting impact. It sets the stage for the game's narrative while honoring the legacy of the franchise. Absolute banger. Another great trailer was Halo 3, widely regarded as one of the best video trailers of all time, blending technical excellence, emotional storytelling, and a sense of epic scale. Again, another common theme you're going to see here, emotional weight. The trailer taps in, into our emotional connection with the Halo universe, especially the ongoing struggle between humanity and the Covenant. The famous line, finish the fight, deeply holds weight with me. As Halo 3 was supposed to be the conclusion of the trilogy, making it a climatic moment for those interested in the story and of Master Chief, Cortana, humanity's survival. It was a master of atmosphere and tone. The trailer has a somber and hopeful tone. Master Chief stands alone, showcasing his resilience and determination, which made me feel the weight of the war. The mood is epic, but not over the top with a balance of hope and dread. Again, cinematic quality. So Bungie, at the time, the developer of Halo, they treated the trailer like a Hollywood production. The visuals lifting and the music all combined to make it feel like a blockbuster film. The sweeping landscapes with Master Chief's iconic armor and a haunchy musical score created a cinematic experience that elevates the stakes. So the music built 
tension throughout the trailer and is the key reason to its success. The familiar hero, Master Chief, with the, the chorus, drums, and orchestra score stirred nostalgia, excitement, and anticipation. The soundtrack escalation mirrors the action on screen, perfectly complementing the visuals. The cliffhanger. So this is the third. This is Halo 3. The trailer leaves us on to cliffhanger. It doesn't give away too much, but teases enough to create massive hype. We see Master Chief preparing for a monumental battle. This made me excited to dive back into the game and learn how the trilogy would conclude. Obviously, it became more than a trilogy, but at the time, man. So this being an action trailer, the moment of action in the trailer are not just for spectacle. The iconic scene with Master Chief leaping into the fray with the gravity hammer tells you this is desperate. Final stand, reinforcing the trailer's theme of courage and sacrifice. So in summary, dude, just with the Halo here, the Halo 3 trailer combined narrative, anticipation, cinematic craftsmanship, and the emotional depth which resonated with me on multiple levels. It was able to build massive hype while staying true to the core theme of the game series. All right, moving on to what was one of my favorite series of all time but unfortunately this one fell short but the trailer did not the assassin's creed 3 trailer is considered so good for a number of reasons combining several elements that resonated with both me and others for the series and general audience alike here's a breakdown of how i enjoyed it again cinematic quality visual and action choreography the trailer is highly cinematic blending fluid action with stunning visuals the fight scenes particularly those showing the protagonist Connor, first time we've seen him, taking down British soldiers with impressive agility and dynamic grappling movements. The historical setting. I'm an American, so obviously I'm not rooting for the British, but set during the American Revolution, the trailer captures the iconic imagery of the historic period with a sense of importance, making it feel epic. The use of this historic landmarks like the American Wilderness and Revolution War battlefields adds a unique flavor and the powerful atmosphere. So the tone and emotion, the trailer does a great job of balancing action with moments of tension, giving viewers the sense of the stakes involved. The atmosphere is both intense and heroic, hinting at the complexity of the characters and the conflicts he faces. Now the music, man. The background score is both stirring and emotional, heightening in a sense of drama and tension. The music's pacing builds anticipation and perfectly complements the action on scene. As we're showing our hero for the first time, Connor, for me, being a fan of the series, this was the first time we were introduced to a new assassin, Connor Kenway. He's portrayed as a skilled and determined warrior with a strong sense of justice, giving the trailer a fresh, exciting feeling as it promises a, the new protagonist. Connor's unique style, particularly his use of the tomahawk, the iconic tomahawk with the assassin logo in it, and his Native American heritage made him stand out from previous characters. His ability to move effortlessly through nature and urban environments added to his appeal. Historical context, an immersive storytelling, the Revolution of War setting. Again, getting back at this, the American Revolution was a well-known and pivotal moment in the history of Assassin's Creed 3. Trailer taps into the familiarity. It created a sense of historic immersion by showing Connor's involvement in major events in the battles from this period. Themes of the rebellion and freedom. The trailer highlighted of fighting for freedom and rebellion against oppression, which ties in deeply with the American Revolution, but also resonates as a universal theme. This gave the trailer a deeper emotional pull. The signature Assassin's Creed elements, parkour and combat all over this trailer, showcasing iconic elements from the Assassin's Creed series like parkour, stealth, and intense combat. The smooth transitions between Connor's climbing trees and fighting soldiers show the character's ability and agility and the freedom of movement that fans love the symbolism like the previous assassin's creed's game there's a strong use of symbolism which carries a legacy of the previous games while pushing it forward into the new era so all these factors i just talked about combined to make the assassin's creed 3 trailer not just visually engaging but also emotionally compelling leaving myself excited to experience the full game and unfortunately the game came out and it wasn't my favorite but is by far my favorite Assassin's Creed trailer. Doom. Doom 2016. The trailer was highly praised for many reasons, which made it stand out 
and generate significant excitement among both longtime fans of the franchise and newcomers. Me being a very longtime fan of Doom Quake, nostalgia with modern upgrades. So the Doom trailer perfectly balanced the essence of classic Doom with a modern twist. The original Doom 1993 was a trailblazer, a fast paced first person shooter, and the 26th trailer tapped into the nostalgia by showing frantic, intense gameplay with nods to classic enemies and weapons like the iconic shotgun and chainsaw. Fast paced action. The gameplay showcased the trailer emphasized speed, brutality, over the top action. Doom 2016 brought back the fast, fluid combat that defined the original, steering clear of the modern cover-based shooters at the time. The trailer highlighted this by showing the player's character relentlessly moving, shooting, and glory-killing demons, making it clear that this was a non-stop adrenaline-pumping experience. Accompanying that was the music. The music composed by Mick Gordon, by far my favorite composer of all time, was a standout feature the heavy instrumental soundtrack perfectly complemented the brutal fast-paced gameplay to help set the tone for the game. Underscore the relentless demonic destruction and an almost primal energy. The iconic big fucking division track became synonymous with Doom's intensity. To this point, I am still listening to Argent music. This game literally created a subgenre of metal. The cinematic presentation, the trailer was struck to the feeling like a cinematic experience with dynamic shots, fast editing, and impactful moments that mirror the intensity of the gameplay. It effectively showed off the stunning graphics powered by the id Tech 6 engine, particularly in the lighting, textures, and fluid animations of both the protagonist and the hellish demons. And it also emphasized the old school first person shooter gameplay, highlighting what I liked, a Doom reboot. No reloads, no hiding behind cover, just a constant barrage of shooting, movement, and melee combat. This was a direct response to the era's trend of slow-paced shooters, making the trailer feel like a breath of fresh air and a return to form for old school Doom fans. Creative combat. To showcase the glory kill system where players could perform brutal finishing moves on enemies. The trailer demonstrated the creative ways players could interact with the environment and enemies. This added depth to the combat while keeping it over the top and fun. The enemy design, so the trailer shows off the enemy designs for the first time, obviously. Diverse range of enemies that longtime Doom fans would recognize, from imps to the remnants. These classic enemies were reimagined with the modern graphics, making them look terrifying, grotesque, and maintaining their iconic design. Minimum story focus. While many modern game trailers focused heavily on cinematic storytelling, Doom 2016 mostly emphasized gameplay and action. It gave a glimpse into the story, but kept the emphasis on what Doom fans truly cared about, the brutal, fast-paced, demon-slaying action. Doom 26 trailer succeeded because it tapped into the essence of what made the original so beloved while updating it in modern audiences with stunning visuals, intense music, and virtual gameplay that led to a lasting impact. All right, our final trailer. Probably my favorite of all. One of my favorite games of all time as well, Battlefield 1. This trailer is widely regarded as one of the best video games trailer ever. It changed the way trailers were made. After this trailer, the game has changed. This is a game changer trailer. With the unique setting of World War I, at the time, most popular shooters were focused on modern and futuristic warfare. Battlefield 1 stood out, returning to a historical setting. World War I, which was largely unexplored in the mainstream gaming. This created a sense of freshness and something new. The epic cinematic presentation blended stunning visuals and intense action sequences with a cinematic feel. The use of a large-scale battles, chaotic trench warfare, aerial dogfights, and tanks rolling through destroying landscapes created an adrenaline-fueled atmosphere that hooked me immediately. The dynamic varied combat, it showcased the game's hallmark of large-scale dynamic combat. The trailer hinted at everything, from cavalry changes to the tanks, battles, biplanes to flamethrowers, giving a sense of scale and variety. The music choice, 
Seven Nations Army Remix by the White Stripes it was perfect fit. It built tension and excitement resonating with me and modern gamers and adding a pulse pounding energy to the trailer. The track also helped create an emotional connection, making the trailer feel more epic. The pacing. The trailer was well paced, revealing different aspects of warfare without giving too much away. It maintained a balance between chaos and calm. The transitions being ground combat, air battles, and infantry action keeping viewers engaged. The visuals and technical achievement. The Frostbite engine's ability to render highly detailed environments, destruction, and physics was on full display. It highlighted the game's technical prowess, teasing players with realistic graphics and effects. And finally, the nostalgia of the classic warfare. For me, this trailer brought back memories of early World War II games like Call of Duty, the original Call of Duties, and Call of Duty 2, and Medal of Honor from back in the day, while well, also tapped into a desire to revisit a grit and intensity of historic conflict, making it stand out from other shooters at the time. All these factors combined make the Battlefield 1 trailer a memorable experience, hyping up the game and generating excitement among myself and others, both old and new. So even without a full narrative, with the intense action combined with emotional moments, with the different music tones and atmospheres that these trailers bring to us, a hero's journey or a high stakes feeling, this can stir feelings and keep viewers interested. The combination of excitement, sensory stimulation, and emotional hooks me while watching all of these thrilling trailers. If you enjoyed this, thank you for thank you for watching. Be sure to go watch all the different trailers on your own. All of them will be linked in the description below. Thank you.